The story begins with a gruesome discovery at this Batavia home in November of 1978. The elders knocked down a wall and found a human skull. The best investigators could tell back then was that it belonged to a woman in her 20s. It was never identified and wound up in the possession of a local museum. Kane County Coroner Bob Russell came across the skull when the museum turned it over to his office and he had an idea. Use modern DNA technology to find out who the skull belonged to and pay for the tests by seeking donations on the internet. We were quickly able to, to gain the funds necessary to perform the ancestral match with uh, the DNA from the skull. That match, Esther Granger, an 18-year-old woman who died in 1866, shortly after childbirth. This forensic sketch is based on the skull. What we're finding is that there's DNA virtually in all cases, suspect or unidentified remains. Wayne Svillar is Granger's great-great-grandson. There is this sense of closure. I wish my mom was still here so that I could tell her this story. She'd love it. This is the second time in as many days that Kane County has relied on DNA evidence to solve a crime. North Aurora police linked the 1976 murder of Kathy Holly to alleged serial killer Bruce Lindahl using DNA analysis paid for in part by a nonprofit called Season of Justice. When Kyle applied for the grant, we received the grant for $6,700. So really a cost to the village of under $3,000 to solve a cold case. The crowdfunded cost to identify the skull, around $7,500. Granger's final resting place here at the West Batavia Cemetery. Her plot donated by the city. Her identity helped confirmed by generous people in this West suburban town who've now helped solve a mystery that is decades old. In Batavia, Charlie Wojciechowski, NBC5 News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.